Hello, I'm Rob with the B, and this is 101 Ways to Make Fire. Well, not this. This is a lighter, that's just one. It's a series. Cut. Now, if I'm going to be making a series of videos about 101 ways to make fire, I figure it's only a matter of time before some 12-year-old wise guy leaves me a comment along the lines of, uh... Yo, why don't you just use a lighter? Ha ha! Ow. So I thought, let me just get it over and done with and show you how to make fire with a lighter. Okay, that's too easy. This is Rob with a B we're talking about. What else we got in here? There we go, that's better. An empty lighter. Some chewing gum. Can't make a fire with that, but man, does it give me a minty, fresh breath. What else we got? Some earbuds. We're going to use those. Earbuds. A little bit of cotton wool at either end. Plus, they're pretty good for fishing wax out. There we go. What are candles made of? Wax. That's right. Now we don't want to get the wax from right on the inside there because that's still got moisture on. We're looking for the sort of dry wax along the ear canal. There we go. Yummy. I'm going to take the rest of them. Pull the cotton off the tips to make a cotton ball. And yes, when you're going to be watching this, it's going to be in fast motion because this is pretty boring. And then just once more with the wax. Just the tip. Just for a second. Just to see how it feels. Wow, that feels weird. Going to put a little bit of the waxy one in the cotton ball as well. And that's just going to improve our burn time. Okay, so there we've got a little cotton ball made up of the heads of the, of the earbuds. The next thing we're going to do is get a little pile of ferrocerium dust. The flint of the lighter um, is made up of a pyrophoric material called ferrocerium. Like most things, it generally won't burn in a solid chunk. But if you increase the ratio of surface area to volume, you allow the reaction to speed up. Um, and that makes it flammable. So we're just going to rub this, turn it upside down, and rub it against the substrate in this case, I'm using a magazine just because it's white and you can see what I'm doing. So this is in, this is in real time. You want to go much faster than that. And you'll see a fine black-gray powder starting to form. Then we use the cotton wool to sweep up the dust. It's, it's very fine dust and the wax is just going to help it adhere to the cotton. Right, so we have our empty lighter, we have our flint powder on the cotton ball. Are you ready? And we have fire! Oonga boonga, baby! My hand's getting hot. Ow! It was a bit anticlimactic, wasn't it? I, I can usually last longer than that. <laughs> 